Hi there and welcome. This is a demonstration for what's new in AutoCAD 2021. My name is Chris Downing, Application Engineer for Mana Machine. The first thing I'd like to show you is the new drawing compare or drawing history comparison that we can do um, with any files that are stored on OneDrive or Dropbox. Um, you can select on the view tab the history button here, the drawing history button, and you can see the previous versions of this particular file and if we look we can click on this button here and it will do us give us a comparison between this file you can see the gray items are the same the red items no longer exist and the green items are new items so you can compare different versions there and see the changes as I say, this only works with um, files stored in Dropbox or OneDrive. That's the way that you can maintain the history of a file. The X-Reference tool has had a revamp as well. Now, if we make changes to a drawing that's referenced in another one, so we've got here, for example, the Office drawing. Yep, and that has the layout referenced in it. And we've got the layout drawing, which has the Office plan referenced in it. So if we make changes to either of these drawings, for example, we decide to add new components, like so, and save the drawing, we see now when we reload our X reference in our office plan, the additional components are shown and highlighted. If we do the same again, Let's try deleting some components and save that. Go to our office plan and reload that. We can see that the things that have been deleted are highlighted this time in red instead of green. This enables you to see the changes in your X reference drawings very quickly and very easily. The blocks palette has had a slight tweak as well. So if I open up the blocks palette here, you can see that we have current drawing, so the blocks that reside in the current drawing. We have recently used blocks, so any recently used blocks you can place in like so. And we also have now the libraries tab as well, where we can browse to and load different blocks or different drawings as a block library and place in those blocks like so. The break tool has had a little bit of a revamp. If I open up the break command here, start break at point, select this object, I can now track a certain snap point and specify a distance from that point, for example, in this case 200, and it will break the line at that exact point. I'll show you that again. Select the break at point command, click on this line, Track the snap point type 200, it'll break the line exactly 200 from the original point. You can see there the length of my line is exactly 200. In the previous release, AutoCAD 2020, we were given the new measure geometry tool, and in this release, 2021, now we can see that the measure geometry tool has had some extra functionality added to it. So if I select the measure geometry tool, you can see this is what we were given in the previous release. But now we can also click inside a uh, enclosed space and it gives us the area of that space. And also if we click in a space that has islands within it, you can see that it detects the islands and gives us the space or the area of the space less the islands. So much more intuitive than it used to be. We used to have to add areas and subtract areas in order to find an area like this. In previous releases of AutoCAD, revision clouds were a little bit awkward because you had to define the size of your arc for each arc in a cloud. Um, and you had to know really the size that you wanted uh, prior to uh, creating a revision cloud. So you'd select revision cloud and you'd select art length and you'd have a go at guessing the length of your arc 
uh, required for your revision cloud. Um, but now, if you just draw it straight away without defining an arc length, you can see if I open up the properties here, the arc length is set to 12. If I wanted to, I could set that as 10, like so. And it basically adjusts the arc length to suit the scale of the drawing. If I switch it now to another drawing, a slightly different scale, you can see my objects are down the bottom there. If I select a revision cloud now and draw one around this bottom edge like so, open up my properties again, you can see the arc length is set to 183, which then I can adjust afterwards if I choose to. So yeah, much more intuitive than it used to be, making revision clouds a lot easier. So the trim and extend tool has been jazzed up a little bit. Previously, you used to have to select the elements that you wanted to trim or extend to. No, now you no longer have to do this. You can trim away instantly components without selecting what you want to trim or extend to. And it also now allows you to delete objects as well is quite useful. The extend tool works in the same way. We can extend and it will meet the next line that it sees. And also if you wanted to you could click twice and it automatically fences and the same with the trim if we select trim click once click twice and it automatically fences if you don't like this new method of trimming and extending you can change the mode here from quick to standard you can see that the current method is quick Another really nice addition to the trimming tool is the ability to trim a hatch. You can see here I've got a hatch within my circle and the line down the middle. If I select the trim tool, I can hover over and see the preview of the hatch trimmed back to the line. And if I'm happy, I can trim the hatch away and maybe do a mirror of that hatch so that I have got two separate hatches. That brings me to the end of my demonstration today. Thank you for watching. If you've got any queries, please feel free to contact us and you can find all of our contact information at www.manamachine.co.uk. Thanks again. Bye.